Since the beginning of Earth's history, Satan, that old serpent, has told mankind that we have within ourselves the very powers of divinity, that we need look no further nor higher than our own mind and consciousness for the wisdom and powers of a God, and that through the joining of light with darkness and partaking of that forbidden tree, mankind may complete the final step of his evolution into Godhood. But the devil is a liar and the father of all lies, for it is through the ministration of fallen angels that all these miraculous feats of strength and skill are achieved. And it is for this purpose alone that the devil entices men, women, and even little children to compromise with evil, and thus opening the doors wide to the power and influence of the forces of darkness. The Hindu gurus have a word for this merging of flesh with spirit. It is called avatar and literally means the manifestation of the fallen ones or those which came down from the heavens. Is this just coincidence that a major film production was recently released by the same title? And is this the reason we see such a barrage of mystical teachings and terminology in the media updates today? Is Satan preparing mankind for the coming of his final and greatest deception, one which the scriptures declare will, if possible, deceive even the very elect, with all power, signs, and lying wonders? The magicians of heathen times have their counterpart in the mediums, the clairvoyants, and the fortune tellers of today. Could the veil be lifted from before our eyes? We should see evil angels employing all their arts to deceive and to destroy. I saw the rapidity with which this delusion of spiritualism was spreading. A train of cars was shown me, going with the speed of lightning. The angel bade me, look carefully, look carefully. As I fixed my eyes upon the train, it seemed that the whole world was on board. Then he showed me the conductor, a fair, stately person whom all the passengers looked up to in reverence. I was perplexed and asked who it was. He said, it is Satan. He is the conductor in the form of an angel of light, and he has taken the world captive. They have been given over to strong delusions to believe a lie, and they are heading with lightning speed to perdition. This delusion will spread, and we all shall have to contend with it face to face. And unless we are prepared for it, we shall be ensnared and overcome. The people of God must be prepared to withstand these lying spirits with the truths from the Word of God. 